With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students. Question is, define f of gx and g of fx. Also find their domain and range. Okay, fx is equals to 10x where x belongs to minus 5 by 2 to 5 by 2 and g of x is equals to a square root 1 minus x square. So let's solve this problem. So first of all, I'm going to find f of dx. Okay, f of dx. So in function fx, I'm going to put dx. So this will become 10 dx. Okay, and this will be equals to 10 square root. 1 minus x square. Now, this gx, here you can see in this fx, x belongs to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Okay. So, this gx, this x should be between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Okay, this gx. But here you can see that this gx is a square root 1 minus x square. And this is square root 1 minus x square lies between. 0 to 1. Okay. So here this is between 0 to 1. So when this is 0 between 0 to 1, now we have to find x for this. So here you can see that square root 1 minus x square is there. So 1 minus x square should be greater than okay equals to 0. Okay, student, no problem. Now I am going to take x square this side. You get x square less than equals to 1. By taking a square root both sides, we all have studied in our basic concept chapter that a square root x square is mod x and this is less than equals to 1. And when less than sign is towards mod, then this opens with x less than equals to 1 greater than equals to minus 1. Okay, so this is domain. Domain is domain is from minus one to one. Okay. Now we have to find the range of this. Okay. So tan is increasing function in between zero to pi by two. Here you can see that a square root one minus x square. So for that we'll have to find range of square root one minus x square. Okay. So we know that x square is always greater than equals to 0. No problem. Okay, so I am writing this concept over here. I am going to find range of this function so that we can find range of tan of this. And this is what f of t. So first of all, I am going to find x square is greater than equals to 0. When I will multiply negative sign both sides, so x square will be less than equals to 0. Now when I will add 1 both sides, we will get 1 minus x square less than equals to 1. Okay. Now I am going to put a square root both sides. So we will get a square root 1 minus x square less than equals to 1. And we know that a square root is always positive. So this will be always greater than equals to 0. So here this part is between 0 to 1. Okay, so this part is it between 0 to 1. So, see, this is playing role of angle. This is playing role of angle. So, angle is between 0 to 1. 0 to 1 means what? 0 to 57 degrees. This is in radian. Okay, and in 0 to 57 degree, tan is increasing. In between 0 to 90 degree, till 90 degree, this is increasing, but in short, we can also say that 0 to 57 degree, this angle is increasing. Sorry, this curve is increasing. So, we'll get minimum value when this whole angle is minimum and we'll get maximum value when this whole angle is maximum. So, range will be, range is when this whole value is minimum and this whole value is minimum is 0 and tan 0 is 0. So, range will be 0. Minimum value will be 0 and maximum value when we'll put this value 1. So, this will become tan 1. 
So 0 to 10 1 is 10. Now I'm going to do same process for g of fx. Okay, students. So this was my first part f of gx. Now second part g of fx. Okay. Now g of fx will be I'm going to put fx over here. So this will also get fx over there. So this will become g of fx is equals to a square root 1 minus f of x whole square. And this will become a square root 1 minus 10 a square. Okay. From here, I'm going to find domain that 1 minus 10 a square x, this should be always greater than equals to 0. So from here, we will get 10 a square x is less than equals to 1. Now I'm going to put a square root both sides. We get mod 10 x less than equals to 1. Now I can write this as 10 x less than equals to 1 greater than equals to minus 1. And from here, we'll get x is less than equals to pi by 4 and greater than equals to minus pi by 4. No problem, students. So here, this is domain. This is what? Domain. Now I'm going to find range. See, domain is, here you can see that 10 square x is less than equals to 1. Okay. Now, see from here. x lies between minus pi by 4 to pi by 4. Okay. Yeah. We have to find range of this. And if you see this, this is a square root function. And a square root function is increasing, which means that if this will be, when this value will be minimum, this a square root will give minimum and that will be minimum value of g of fx. And when this 1 minus 10 square will be maximum, then g of fx will be maximum, a square root will be maximum. See, 1 minus, we have to take something from 1. 1 minus means we have to take something from 1. And you want to make this minimum. So highest you can take is the whole value. So 10 square x highest can be 1. So when this 10 square will be highest, then this whole will be lowest. So 1 minus 1. And 1 is possible for 10 square x because pi by 4 is included. Pi by 4 is included in domain. So when I will take maximum to maximum from 1, then this will be minimum because we are taking something. Okay. Okay. So leftover will be minimum. And we'll take when when we'll take maximum, then leftover will be minimum. So this maximum value will be 1. Okay. So 1 minus 1, its minimum value will be 0. Okay. And when I will take minimum, because we have to take something, take minimum, maximum will be left. Take maximum, minimum will be left. So 10 square x, minimum is 0. 10 square x, minimum is 0, because this is perfect square. Okay, that to at x is equals to 0 degree, and 0 degree is included between minus pi by 4 to pi by 4. So 10 square x is equals to 0 is possible. When this will be 0, 1 minus 0 will be 1. So n square root 1 will be 1. So this is range of g of x. Thank you, my student. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.